Alwaji Serabubakar to four Balia, KP he was a Nigerian politician, and the only Prime Minister of an independent Nigeria. Early life and career, Abubakar Balia was born late in 1912 in Borchi, the son of a Bajari Muslim district head in the Borchi Divisional District of La. Although it is widely presumed that he was Hausa, Balia's father Yekabu Danzala was in fact of Bajari Bagra ethnicity, and his mother Fatima Inna was Fulani. He started early education at the Quranic school in Borchi and like most of his contemporaries, he studied at the Katsina College for further education and soon acquired his teaching certificate. He returned to Borchi to teach at the Borchi Middle School. In 1944, along with a few learned teachers from the north, he was chosen to study abroad for a year at the University of London's Institute of Education, which today forms part of University College London. Upon returning to Nigeria, he became an inspector of schools for the colonial administration and later entered politics. He was elected in 1946, to the colony's Northern House of Assembly, and to the Legislative Assembly in 1947. As a legislator, he was a vocal advocate of the rights of Northern Nigeria, and together with al Haji Ahmad Bello, who held the hereditary title of Sardana of Sokoto, he founded the Northern People's Congress. From self-government to independence. Equals Balia administration equals, Balia entered the government in 1952 as Minister of Works, and later served as Minister of Transport. In 1957, he was appointed Chief Minister, forming a coalition government between the NPC and the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons, led by NNAMDI Arzakai. He retained the post as Prime Minister when Nigeria gained independence in 1960, and was re-elected in 1964. Prior to Nigeria's independence, a constitutional conference in 1954 had adopted a regional political framework for the country, with all regions given a considerable amount of political freedom. The three regions then were composed of diverse cultural groups. The premiers and some prominent leaders of the regions later took on a policy of guiding their regions against political encroachment from other regional leaders. Later on, this political environment influenced the Balia administration. His term in office was turbulent, with regional factionalism constantly threatening his government. However, as Prime Minister of Nigeria, he played important roles in the continent's formative indigenous rule. He was an important leader in the formation of the Organization of African Unity and creating a cooperative relationship with French-speaking African countries. He was also instrumental in negotiations between Moist Shom and the Congolese authorities during the Congo Crisis of 1960 Euro 1964. He led a vocal protest against the Sharpeville Massacre of 1960 and also entered into an alliance with Commonwealth ministers who wanted South Africa to leave the Commonwealth in 1961. However, a treason charge and conviction against one of the Western region's leaders, Abefemi Awolowo, led to protest and condemnation from many of his supporters. The 1965 election in the region later produced violent protests. Rioting and violence were soon synchronous with what was perceived as inordinate political encroachment and an over-exuberant election outcome for Awolowo's Western opponents. As Prime Minister of Nigeria, Sir Abubakar Tifor Balia, from 1960 to 1961, doubled as foreign affairs advocate of Nigeria. In 1961, the Balia government created an official foreign affairs and Commonwealth relations ministerial position in favor of Jajawat Yuka who became, from 1961 to 1965, the first substantive Nigerian minister of foreign affairs and Commonwealth relations, later called external affairs. Honours, in January 1960. Balia was knighted by Elizabeth II as a Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire. He was awarded an honorary doctorate from the University of Sheffield in May, 1960. 1. Overthrow He was overthrown and murdered in a military coup on January 15, 1966, as were many other leaders, including his old companion Ahmad Bello. The circumstances of his death still remain unresolved. His body was discovered at a roadside near Lagos six days after he was ousted from office. Balia was buried in Borchi. News of his assassination spurred violent riots throughout northern Nigeria and ultimately led to the bloody counter-coup of July 1966. 
Today, his portrait adorns the five naira note. The Abubakar Tafur Balia University in Borchi is named in his honor. See also, Nigerian First Republic, Cabinet of Abubakar Tafur Balia. References, Kalu Izera. Constitutional Developments in Nigeria, An Analytical Study of Nigeria's Constitution Making Developments and the Historical and Political Factors That Affected Constitutional Change, 1960, James S. Olson, Robert S. Shadel. Historical Dictionary of the British Empire, Greenwood Press, 1996.